my name is Josie and today I'm going to be talking about the Freestyle Libre. So I'm just going to give a breakdown of this glucose monitor for any diabetics that are thinking of changing their blood glucose monitor or just having a look around to see what's out there. Today what I'm going to be going through is how to apply it, how to use it, its appearance, how accurate it is and just an honest review on each of those sections. So first things first is how to apply it. So as you can see, it comes in this little box. You open it up and in the box is two packages. So this is the sensor and then this is like the applicator and you basically combine them into one. You peel this open. And then leave that there. You open this up and then you connect them. You connect them together. So it's like that. In a lot of videos that you see online, there there's a lot of sponsored videos and they make the application process look really smooth and easy. And honestly, I find it really tough to do to myself. And I've been diabetic for 10 years now and I have no issues with finger pricking or um, injecting myself, but maybe it's just something I have to get used to, but I find this difficult to do to myself. And I have had a few issues with it, honestly. But basically, you just push the applicator into your arm so it kind of clamps down and then it releases the sensor. So I'm just gonna put it here and then you just push down. Okay. And then be very careful pulling it out so you can get stuck sometimes. There. And now it's just the back of your arm there. So that was fine, but honestly, a lot of the time it doesn't work out that easily. I have had the Freestyle Libre for four months now. So that's around eight sensors that I've gotten through. And two out of the eight have been jammed. So they, it's like it doesn't release it properly. And then I have to go to the pharmacy and get a new one, which is a bit of a pain. And twice now it's happened where when I have been pulling out the applicator it pulled out the wire with it halfway and it's a really painful really unpleasant experience and um, and that has happened twice so honestly it's not ideal but having said that you only have to do it once every two weeks so that is a big thing to take into consideration but overall, I'd give the whole application process about a 4 out of 10. So not too bad, but definitely room for improvement. So although it may fall down in the whole applying it area, the way it is so easy and simple to use definitely redeems it. So basically, you get this little monitor in the starter pack as well as that you can download the app on your phone the app is downloadable on an iphone 7 or higher or an android system 5.0 or higher i have a huawei phone still don't really know how to pronounce that huawei phone and it works perfectly on that and the app is really handy as well because it's a really good way of like logging your blood sugars it shows you a graph and even on this you can see there's like scan new sensor which I'll do now I just hold it up to the sensor and then it says my sensor will be ready to be used in 60 minutes you can see your logbook your daily graph your average glucose time you spend in target uh, your daily patterns low glucose and how much you use the sensor which is really handy just to keep a log of all of those details and um, you know, if you struggle finding patterns, it can help you see where you need to maybe reduce insulin or increase insulin. And also, if you ever worry about um, your phone going out of battery, you 
have this as well. So for ease of use, I would give it 10 out of 10. You literally just hold it up and scan it. And the same with your phone, you just enter the app, hold the phone up to your arm, scan it, and then it shows you your blood, glu blood glucose. So definitely really, really handy and really, really well developed in that area. So now I'm just going to move on to its appearance. As you can see, it's just literally a little circle at the back of your arm. I'm very open about my diabetes anyways, and it's not something that I try to hide or anything, um, but it is really easy to hide anyways, just with a long sleeve top or anything. No one would even know that it was there. And obviously it's appearance is a lot more subtle when you're checking your blood glucose rather than pricking your fingers, squeezing out blood. All you have to do is just hold your phone up to your arm. Having said that though, um, one time I was checking my blood sugars and my own dad asked me why I was scratching my armpit with my phone. But I mean, yeah, appearance is definitely, I would give it 10 out of 10. I think its appearance is absolutely grand. Um, really unnoticeable no one's ever said anything to me like ask me what it is or even if they would I'd just explain it to them but no one's ever mentioned it and I don't think anyone would even notice it really at all okay so now moving on to accuracy I would give its accuracy about a 7 out of 10 Um, where it loses points there is just when you scan the sensor five arrows one of five hour arrows will be shown beside your um, sugar level and that would be like 12 o'clock so it means that your sugar level is shooting up it's going high or one o'clock it's slowly going up three o'clock it's steady five o'clock it's slowly going down six o'clock it's drastically going down and a lot of the time it's been drastically pointing up I freak out I take loads of correction insulin and then the next thing I'm having a low I think things that can play a part in how accurate that is. I think after exercise it gets a bit confused and it doesn't know or if you're drinking or have drank alcohol uh, the morning after a heavy night out drinking I would not go by the arrows at all because it just doesn't know. Um, another thing is that um, it's happened to me a few times now where it's told me that I'm having a hypo and I'm not. You do get glucose sticks as well, so you can prick your finger to double check. And I would definitely recommend doing this if it says that you are having a hypo and you don't feel like you are, double check. Because it's happened a few times now where it said 2.3 or and I'm just about to reach for my Skittles. And I think one second, I really don't feel like it is 2.3. I feel absolutely fine. I finger prick and it tells me that I'm at a normal level. So... Just be weary of the arrows and the unexplained hypos. Always double check. Um, but apart from that, you don't have to worry about um, being contaminated, which you can get with finger pricking. Like just last week, I went back to finger pricking for a week so I could properly compare the two. And I forgot that these things happen. Like it came up a few times where it'd be like 20, 22. And then I would just be about to take some correction insulin and then I think, actually, wait, how how is it 22? And then I'd wash my hands and then I'd come back and do it and it would be at a normal level. You'd forget that these things happen. Whereas with this, you never have to worry about that. So that is another great pro of the Freestyle Libre. So that is all I have to say about the Freestyle Libre. Would I recommend it? Well, if you are lazy about finger pricking or you don't like finger pricking in public, yes, I would recommend it. It just takes so much hassle out of checking what your blood sugar is. You wouldn't even know that you're checking your blood sugar. It's just literally a matter of seconds. Even like in the middle of the night, if you're feeling low, you don't have to worry about like trying to find the little glucose stick and putting it into the meter and like turning the lights on all you have to do is just hold your phone up to your arm and it just tells you in seconds whether you are or not it's really really takes so much of the hassle out of it um however it is pricey in ireland it is free to anybody who is 21 or under the age of 21 so definitely inquire about it um, because I only discovered it a month before my 21st birthday so I only have one year and one month of it being free but at least I get that it's better than nothing 
but for those who are older, it's for the starter pack, it's 169. So that comes with the meter and then the applicator and the sensor. And then after that, you just need to get the applicator and the sensor, which is 59 euro. Um, and you need to get one every two weeks. But I do think it's worth it. It is really easy really hassle free. Anytime I have ever had a faulty one all I do is just go to my pharmacy and explain to them and they're always very good and they just provide me with a new one straight away. Um, so yeah that's all I have to say on it really. I hope this has helped somewhat. Um, thank you for watching.